What's going on guys, Linus here, and welcome back to Civilization V. Um, I'm finally back from my vacation. I've been gone for almost... I wouldn't say three weeks, but it's been uh, more than two weeks, and um, I recorded the last part uh, right before I left. So basically I haven't made any videos in two and a half weeks. I have uploaded videos, but I haven't made them, so I'm gonna be rusty as shit. Uh, when it comes to commentary and stuff like that, but uh, at least I'm alive. Let's see, let's do that, I guess. Um, so I guess in the last part, I actually had to go back and, and see what exactly happened, what I did. Um, I made dynamite, uh, which, you know, I have a bunch of artillery set up over here. Uh, conveniently placed to attack the city of Kar Tukulti Ninorta. Uh, and we're at war with Ashurbanipal, of course. Um, and he's the, the biggest player, aside from me. So it's, uh, it's up to us right now to destroy him. Um, and actually recorded that part, but everything was shitty back then. Um, my, like, my PC was overheating. I have terrible, um, air circulation in my room. Like, my case is okay, I've got water cooling and all that stuff, but still, when it's extremely hot outside, um, you know, my room gets extremely hot, and even then, you know, air circulation in your case doesn't really, doesn't really help that much. So, uh, yeah, I've been traveling Europe for the past two and a half weeks, pretty much, and it's, uh, I, I had a, I had a ball. I had a fucking ball. It was great. Um, oh, also the World's Fair is, is being, being done. Civilization has contributed a lot of stuff, except I can't see how much that really is. Um, I remember fidgeting around with the, uh, theming bonuses, and I have a, a couple of them right now, so that's all good. Uh, when it comes to tourism, I think I am by far the best person out there. Assyria's got some nice, you know, tourism, but it's... That's nothing compared to me. That's nothing in my country. So, yeah. Um, war. Let's let's get to it. And also, let's see if the game crashes again, uh, because then we know that it's not due to, um... To overheating issues, but it's actually due to bugs in the game. You know, if, if it happens. I have no way of knowing if it will. Um, but I've heard about bugs happening to people where the game will just crash, and... You know, just for no apparent reason, it just crashes and, and they have to stop playing. Um, and it sounded a lot like what happened to me earlier, so I really, really hope that it's fixed by now. It's it's no longer hot here, um, because it used to be, you know, when I had trouble recording, I think it was almost 30 degrees Celsius. Um, I, th I think I've grown accustomed myself to the, the high temperatures. York has adopted my religion, I hope. I hope. Yep, that's my religion. Um... You know, I've sort of grown accustomed to the, um, the high temperatures myself, because I've been, you know, like I said, I've been traveling Europe, and uh, there was kind of a heat wave going on, like when I was in uh, Bratislava, it was uh, 40 degrees Celsius. That's uh, just a disgusting, disgustingly high temperature. So I've just been, you know, just been, uh, been getting used to it, and I've, it's actually pretty manageable. Normally I'm a sucker when it comes to uh, just super high heat. I get, you know, really sweaty and shit. And uh, this wasn't very different, it was just, you know, those weeks were pretty much weeks of perpetual sweat. It was really gross. Um, but I did grow used to it, you know, just, you know, just, just, just calm down, don't, like, exert yourself too much and drink buttloads of water. Um, because I must have drank, like, what, three liters of water per day at least. Um, so you just, you sort of get used to it like that. It's, uh, it's all cool. Uh, and now I'm just waiting to see if the game will crash. I was actually checking my previous saves before, and I was I think I was doing that stuff for, I don't know, like a, a 10 minutes or something like that, and the game didn't crash. So I hope, I really hope, I d almost desperately hope that we're okay now. Because uh, nobody wants, uh, wants it, your game to, to die. Let's take his die and heal that unit. Um, so I did do this war before, but then the game crashed, and I had to go on vacation like the next day, and I thought, you know what? Never mind, I'm done with this. I don't have the, uh, the patience to deal with all these crashes anymore. Um, because it's just Civ, and it didn't, it didn't happen. Um, well, actually, it also happened when I wasn't recording, so it wasn't due to, uh, recording software or anything like that, so it's just a, a bug in Civ or something. Um... And I've been playing a bunch of games since I came back, because, uh, like, Payday 2 came out, and, uh, Europa Universalis 4, and those games run absolutely fine. Um, I remember playing Battlefield 3, uh, before I left, some, just some pretty graphically intense games that would take a lot out of your uh, graphics card. 
it worked absolutely fine, so I don't really know what was causing it, but it's apparently a problem with Civ and not necessarily my computer, because it doesn't get it doesn't get overheated now. So maybe it was due to the heat, maybe it was something else, I have no idea. But I guess uh, we'll find out during this video. And I'm just going to continue this war. Take this city. So I, like I said, I recorded this before and I actually took this city. And I took this other city, I think it's called Nineveh or something like that, Nineveh. Uh, I took that and I finished the war and, you know, he was pretty much reduced to a, a bunch of pretty small cities. I think I actually went for his capital. But I don't remember. Create a puppet. There you go. Let's see. Did he have any cool... Nope. He actually has more tourism than I had before. So I guess everything is stacked uh, inside of his capital, which is a pretty good call right there. Um, Athens. I don't really care for Athens, but I would like to remove him from the game. But for now, I feel like my focus should be on Nineveh. And not on, you know, the small cities that nobody really cares about. So, let's just take this. This is one of his biggest cities. And obviously, it's going to be a huge hit for him if I take the city, which I have done just now. It belongs to me. Oh, yeah. Create another puppet. My city converted. Convert Why did they adopt Islam the exact turn I took their city? That's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe it's... Islam voodoo magic. I don't know. Here we go. Got all these units ashore. I would love to take a sir from him. Because that would just severely cripple his, uh, his efforts. Like, there wouldn't be really anything he can do anymore at that point. So, if I do that, that would be pretty dope. I would just leave him with uh, Nimrod and Dur Shuriken. And then also the, the Greek cities he took, which are all puppets. They're all pretty crappy. So, I would be fine with leaving him with those. That wouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's just move my units up a little bit. Stay away from the Gatling guns, though, because those guys can really poop in your face. Uh, here we go. Lancers. I don't like Lancers, but hey, let's just send them over there anyway. Um, so, I took, really, the, the things that I wanted to take. Maybe if he gives me a nice offer, peace offer, I might consider um, ending the war right now. I don't really know. Oh, he's trying to take back the city. That's cute. Look at this freaking guy. So now I've got all these artillery stacked over there. I'm going to use them to attack his units around there. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about you. You're England. <laughs> You've got nothing left. You've got absolutely nothing. Um, Truffles connect for Hong Kong. Ruggs has an awe of me, even though I'm a giant warmonger of this game. Truffles connected. Everybody wanted truffles. Steam power is done. We killed a Polish spy, so he's probably gonna come up to me and be like, Oh, hey, sorry about that. It was an accident. I didn't mean to send a spy to you. That was just a poor decision-making on my part. That's what he's gonna say. And I guess I'll forgive him. Except, um, if he keeps doing that, I might have to... Well, I'm actually not gonna destroy Poland, because he's really far away. But I'm sure I can forgive him. Uh, Porto... World's Fair, yo. Let's uh, get that thing going. I have a lot of production uh, going that way, so that's good. Let's start with destroying the pikemen that are next to the city. Make sure they will no longer be able to really take it. Let's destroy his musket man. I just want all these artilleries to destroy his life. Just everything he loves and owns, I just want it gone. I have no, no patience for this. Because it can be sort of a juggling match in which, you know, you take a city and then he takes it back and you have to take the city again. It's probably best to focus on destroying his units and making sure they will no longer interfere in my business over here. So that's kind of the plan. Okay, let's see. We got that freaking Gatling gun. Vatican City is scared of me. Look at those douches. Okay. Um, let's see. What should I do? Oh, he actually took Athens now. That's interesting. So that's... okay. I think I'm gonna actually make sort of a defensive line here and just keep him at bay for now, because I'm not really planning on going um, up against him over there as well. I would like to have just a de defensive spot and just keep the north, make sure that's secure. And then if we take a Sir, then he's just gonna he's gonna be gone. I mean, there's really no point to him playing anymore when a Sir gets taken. Let's kill his worker. 
It's not necessary, but let's just do it for the hell of it. Uh, because I just kind of like playing like a jerk bag. I've got another artillery. PC is still nice and cool. That's actually pretty convenient. My PC's right next to me, so I can just feel, um, exactly, you know, how hot it gets. And it's absolutely fine right now. It's really cool. I, I would love to put, like, a, a drink in there. Have it cooled. Um... Nineveh, this is uh, occupied for or in resistance for five more turns. Seven turns. I guess we will just have to wait that one out. Uh, we have a now. Sell your crap to Jerusalem. There you go. And I'm just gonna gift that unit because I didn't really want it anymore. We've discovered lots of stuff and we don't. Why? Is Hong Kong likes me? That's kind of weird, but sure. Let's just roll with it. Probably because I. Got truffles or something like that. That's my Fatoria. Still, absolutely love the um, the Portuguese civilization. They're actually a lot of fun to play. Oh man, he's gonna take Nineveh, isn't he? You fucking idiot! It's not even gonna help you that much. Is that a worker attacking me? What's happening? Yeah, he's still trying. I forgive you, Poland. Hey, it happens. It happens. Sometimes you accidentally tell a spy to go somewhere you don't want them to go. That's uh, that's part of life, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm just gonna answer that question myself because there's no one else here. Our now is withdrawn from enemy melee attack. I didn't even know that was possible, but sure, hey. Who the hell am I? Uh, oh my god, okay. Go explore, get the hell out of there. Don't die. Don't be don't be a hero. Uh let's see. This one should be able to fire at that stupid pikeman and worker. And pew 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 rockets, there you go. They're they're gone. Let's send this guy over there, take their worker, just to, to just, you know, mess with them. Worker, go work stuff uh, that, you know, things that you do. Just go do them. I don't really know. Um, artillery, let's move up to a Sir. I don't re really want the uh, the Greek cities. Because they just don't look very good. But a Sir, I just really want to take that and make sure that, you know, the only person left that's somewhat capable of doing something to me is uh, Dido. Because she's a, a continent away from me, and there's no way that she's really going to try and kill me, I think. So we should be pretty much good to go, and then we can focus on tourism or whatever cultural victory I'm going for. I mean, not cultural victory, but whatever uh, victory I'm going for. Um, I said cultural victory because I was staring at the, the culture. I was like, man, that's some nice culture we're making right there. Oh, man. It's the hand axe guy. That now is dead meat. Full on dead. Uh, let's see, boost science from research agreements. I don't actually have any of those right now, so that would not be beneficial. Maybe not ideology, level 2. Uh, plus 2, reduce unit gold maintenance. Extra production when making military units. Plus 2, local happiness from every barracks, army, military academy. From a courthouse. Let's go with um, gold maintenance. That would give me a, just a crazy amount of gold that I'm just sparing myself right there. Now, get the... Frick out of there, seriously, you're gonna die. Why do I have so many nows just going around? I guess I made some of those before I left. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna need you to step up to, to a sir. There you go. And then this guy should be able to fire at the city. I mean, it does pretty considerable damage, but it's gonna take a couple of turns for me to actually take this city, I think. Uh, but let's just line up the artillery and, and see what we can do here. I've got like five of them over here, so this might be... Uh, a pretty doable war. You know, that's what I'm hoping for, at least. Let's take a sir. And, uh, just, just kill all of them. That's really, that's my plan right now. Got this rifleman, let's send him over there. So, basically, we are in control of pretty much the entire continent. If we were to wipe out... Ooh! Look at this great musician, that's gonna be sweet for you. Except I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna get your tourism, sucker. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're, we actually have control of pretty much the entire continent if we take out Assyria, but do I really need it? Eh, not really. I just really want to, just, just, you know, take his, his stuff. That's the most important part to me. Make sure he doesn't really have a shot at winning anymore. Because uh, I want to win this game. That's why I started it, obviously, to, to win. Not to lose, as crazy as that sounds. Yeah, I was going for a win. Destroy this great musician. Maybe that's dumb. I thought I might be able... To capture him, but that's not possible. Okay. Uh, that kind of sucks for me. Because I really wanted to take that guy and just force him to make me a great work of art. But I guess he doesn't... He doesn't want to do that. 
just now. Press Lahasa, uh, let's see, Eastern Orthodoxy. Great. Oh, this project is 100% completed. So I assume that in a turn or two, we're going to hear about who won with the, the production and things like that. Looking forward to it. Also, a syrup will be mined very, very, very soon. Corinth. Uh, I don't really want Corinth. I want your, I want your capital city. Sorry, dude. It's nothing personal. I just hate you so much. Uh, yeah, we're in England are now allies. He's got a great general, Rommel. Wow, that literally means trash in Dutch, pretty much, or something like that, or junk, I suppose. Boats are shooting each other. Boom! I crushed everybody there. Holy shit. Um, so yeah, uh, I got a 100% culture increase. That is uh, just a crazy amount. A free social policy and 500 points towards the next golden age. Shit. I mean, that's amazing right there. Those are some really good numbers. Uh, let's have you kill these stupid boats. They're bothering me. We got this guy. Let's give him a nice... Uh, freaking upgrade. I don't really know. Fire at the city. It's not like I could pick an upgrade that would give me a ben uh, just some sort of benefit towards attacking a city, so this will just have to do. And fire at a sir. And then we should be able to move in and take that from him. The sir bitches. Well, look at the antiquity sites. I'm gonna rob you blind. We have pillaged 273 gold, zero culture, and three great works of art. Let's uh, create a puppet, mate. There you go. Lost your capital. They've been reduced to an idiot. Great scientists are earned faster. I can add another tenant. Uh, one of blah, 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 plus one happiness from every castle and arsenal and stuff like that. Let's go with that. Let's get some happiness. Boom. That's only two. Are you kidding me? I thought it would be more. That kind of sucks. Uh, Nottingham go with a um, monument, I guess. I don't really. I don't really know. Uh, castle. Gonna give me a little bit of happiness, a little bit of protection. So good. Arsenal gives me happiness too. Uh, caravansary. Let's go with an arsenal. Can't really argue with that plus one happiness. That's some pretty good stuff. Uh, walls. Get this party started. We're gonna have a buttload of happiness by the time we're done making all these uh, courthouses and stuff. This is gonna be a complete ball. There you go. Let's take a look at the, the art that I uh, stole from this douchey. Douchey douche. Uh, let's see. sir has got Phidias, Assyria Medieval. Assyria Medieval. So I could basically put those in a museum together and get rich. Boom. There you go. That's another theming bonus. Uh, he had some music as well, but I have no great slots to put that in. Portugal Renaissance era. Why is that even over there in Porto? I guess it's pretty safe. I guess it's a pretty safe bet. Portuguese beads. I guess I just put those in there. He's got Assyrian Industrial and Antananarivo Ancient Era. That may have also been me because I think I found those earlier. Uh, but yeah, here you go. We got a. Uh, ooh, we got some good stuff here. So we got 46 tourism. He's got 10. He has been reduced a lot. We are falling with England, although I do not know why. And we are becoming pretty influential over the Carthaginians and some other people as well. Um, I want to dump... Is there anything I really want to get rid of? Renaissance, industrial... This one's giving me a bonus, I guess. Let's not mess with that. Industrial... Um, Carthaginian. Let's get rid of an industrial... Sure, let's trade this for the uh, twice-told tills, whatever that is. I want to swap with them. Oh, here we go. That's how it works. Uh, do it. So we got that. Let's see if we can, can get another theming bonus. Where did I put it, though? It was writing? Twice-told tills and Moby Dick. So writing's from the same era and Civ. I don't have that, though. Do not have that. England Renaissance, England Medieval, I've got Carthage Industrial. Uh, I guess there's no theming bonus I can really make there. I need the same sieve and era. And I don't just don't have enough spare writings to really uh, do that. So I'll just leave it there, I guess. Um, 
You can chill. Let's just try and negotiate a peace with this guy. Give me stuff, dude. Give me cotton. That's not fair. I only have four cotton. Sure, give me Corinth. Whatever, dude. I will liberate the city. Oh, wait. I can give it back to Alexander. Or I can annex it. I really don't want to give it back to Alexander because he's a douche. Let's create a puppet. And there actually was a great work of art in there. What? Why would you not remove that before offering it to me? What are you, crazy? Porto, Portugal Renaissance, England Renaissance. So I got Corinth and they have Syria Industrial. Okay. Where, wait, is that really what they had? Macbeth, that's freaking Shakespeare right there. Carthage Industrial, Assyria Industrial, boom. Still no, uh, Still no match over there. Portugal Renaissance. So we need the same era and the same thingy, but we just don't have enough writing right now. They're all very different ones. But at least we got another uh, another great work of art. You know, that's a good thing. Uh, for now, I just want you to go exploring. I'm just going to set everything up here. Have everyone defend a little bit. I'm going to end the video here because I've been recording for over 20 minutes and there have been no... Uh, problems whatsoever, so maybe it was a bug and they fixed it or it was the heat. I have no idea um, Yeah, so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and um, Hopefully we can finish this game soon because I've been really dragging this along and I've been uploading since I've been gone like three uh, One video every three days of this uh, Which is not really good, so I should really step it up and just finish it up So uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you in the next part of let's play civilization 5